Good morning friends and welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time here then hi my name is Carrington a big huge special welcome to you I hope that you will consider hitting that subscribe button clicking the little bell so you're notified of all my future uploads as well if this is your 10th time 100th time 50th time second time here and you still have not yet hit that subscribe button I absolutely invite you to do so and let's go ahead and let's get into today's video here we are we have finally made it we are on to day four the very last day of trying out the huda beauty wild obsessions palette this one is called chameleon so today we are going to be testing out this palette here is what it looks like on the inside so we're definitely going to be trying out this palette and then after i come back we are then going to be ranking these so let me know um, if you I will link all of these down below if you haven't seen them but let me know down below how you think these are going to rank I'm very curious to see what you guys say how you guys think these are going to rank but let's go ahead and let's get into today's video all right let's first go ahead and let's start off with some swatches so here we have the first top shade this is like a very like terracotta almost kind of a brick red um, next up, then you have a burgundy type red. Then there's this shade right here, which kind of surprised me. It's almost like a strawberry or raspberry kind of shimmer. But when you look at it in the pan, it's like, it was like a purple and pink mix. But I feel like only the pink really showed. Um, here you have a dark chocolate brown. Then you have like a very like peach kind of a color. You have a bronze. Yeah, it will go with like a bronze sort of shade. You have a purple shimmer. You have like a very nice like coral shade and then you have a gold the gold in this has that special like formulation but this one is actually markedly softer than any of the others which to me was kind of odd because the rest of them were very hard so here are all of the swatches so now let's go ahead and let's dive on into a look all right so i've primed my eyelids let's go ahead let's dive into this shade first um i think it'll be a good transition tone um it does have a little bit of kick up not bad but it does coat the brush nicely i think this will make a really good like transition tone i am going to like try to use as many of the shades in the palette as i possibly can so yeah this is definitely just like a really nice light transition tone just taking that up pretty far since i don't have much of a crease Next up, we're going to go into this middle shade at the bottom right here, just to kind of deepen that up a little bit. I'm also not going to go like as high, but I am definitely going to go up there quite a ways. Oh yeah. This palette has some like really, really good pigmentation to it. Next, I'm just going to go lower down into that crease into this first shade right here and just kind of focus it into like that crease area. I really like how each of these shades adds like a bit of like depth and dimension. Like they're not similar, like they're similar, but they're not like so similar that it's like, why are these in here? Like it really does add some like depth and dimension to the eyes. So, so far I'm really liking that and for the outer corner I'm gonna go into like this like raspberry burgundy type shade and just focus that specifically on the outer corner starting with like focusing it on along the lower lash line just building it up there the shades a little bit harder to work with to get that like packed on there yeah I'm not really like loving this shade as much as the others the others gave like immediate like pigmentation and blendability this is I'm really having to like build up this shade a lot all right so I've glitter primed my eyelids let's go ahead and start off with the shade right here this like brassy tone 
and that's gonna go kind of into like the outer portion of my lid this is like a very 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 soft shade Ooh, but boy is that pigmentation and like that like metallic foil goodness just like there like <sighs> yeah to that like special gold shade i think feel like i've used this shade for almost all of the looks so why not just add it into this look as well oh it's like fire or firework maybe i don't know so a last little step I want to take is I want to take this like brown shade, this chocolate brown, and run that on like a liner brow brush. This is more like a brow because it's a spool on the end, but we're going to use it for liner and I'm just going to start lining my eyes. It has quite a bit of fallout. <laughs> on the face as you can tell so here are the eyes thus far let me know what you guys think of it so far i'm getting very like fire-ish vibes that's what i'm getting from this um so now i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna go off camera finish off the rest of my face um use this this is the last lip option we have which is the silk balm in blush to use on my lips i'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera come back and give you guys kind of my final thoughts first impression wise impression first impression oh, jesus first impression wise of this and then we'll go ahead and we will start the ranking all right so we are back with the rest of the face done what do you guys think i am really really enjoying this look i think this look came together really nice um so let's go ahead and let's talk about my final thoughts with this palette so first things first for the most part the mattes were really really nice and pigmented and blendable the only matte that i really had some issue with was this one right here i really just like could not get it to just pack on to the level of pigmentation that it was in here it just i mean i was literally just like packing and packing and packing and it just felt like it was never going to get to the level of pigmentation that was in here other than that i think the rest of the mattes did fine i have the brown that smoked along the lower lash line uh, that did have some fallout on the face but it also could be just like based on like the brush that i use trying to like pack it onto my lid um, i'd have to use it you know with another brush in another way besides along my lower lash or along my lash line um to see if like the fallout thing is consistent or not none of the other shades really did have a lot of fallout um, in terms of the shimmers, I thought the shimmers were really beautiful. This one right here that I put on the outer portion of my lid was a really, really beautiful pigmented metallic. This right here is that special shade. Um, you know, and this one is like the softest of all of the ones that have this sort of like pattern in there. Now, the purple also is like such a beautiful, like purplish kind of a shade. I thought that was like beautiful. And the thing is, I really love to use like purples with some like peachy colors. And these definitely have those like peachy colors in there. So I feel like this purple is like perfectly placed in here. The one thing I was like kind of like a little bit like uh, about was this shimmer just because when you mix it together, like you can see like there's some purple and there's some like red, but when you mix it together, the purples like disappear. It just like the red takes over. And so I just kind of like hurts my heart a little bit. So I kind of wish that they would have just left, like just made it this one shade, um, that one color instead of like having like this mixture shade. Cause now I'm like disappointed that there's like no hint of purple to it really at all. So that was just like a little bit disappointing. But other than that, I have to say this was definitely like great quality. Um, you know, I like the outer packaging. That's cute. I think the outer packaging and all of them is cute. They all come with a mirror. They don't ever come with shade names. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, which kind of sucks that it doesn't come with any shade names, but, um, you know, that's okay. So, um, let's go ahead and let's get into the ranking portion. So let's, let's go from worst to best. So my least favorite of all of these was probably going to be the Wild Tiger palette. 
Um, the, the issue that I had is that with these being like a neutral palette, I felt like I should not have to sit here and build and build and build and build up the color. But I found with these mattes, I really had to like go in and like build layers on top of layers. Um, and then this shade right here was super, super hard. And then it's just very topperish. Like there's not really much to it. It's just a very topperish type of shade. I thought that the other like shimmers were okay. Like these two were definitely beautiful. This one was also just kind of like slightly a little bit hard pressed. This one as well. Um, it was just like a little slightly a little bit hard pressed. And I feel like for a neutral palette, they shouldn't be hard to work with because I feel like neutrals are really easy to make. Like there's so many good neutral palettes out there that I don't think we should settle for one that's as subpar as this. I don't think we should be accepting one that we're, we're having to build the neutrals up considerably. I also don't think that the shimmers should be as, um, as hard pressed as they were, especially because they're more neutral shimmers. So this overall was probably my least favorite. I probably wouldn't recommend this one. Um, especially because this is $29. If you could get it for like a really good sale, like maybe like 50% off, what would that be? So that'd be like close to like $15. Even then, I'm just kind of like $9 would be better. I would be willing to pay $9 for this nine pan quad um, for, for this uh, before I would recommend it. So overall, this is just probably just like my least favorite. And third place is going to be the Wild Python. I wanted to love this because again, this is that like greenish kind of a palette and I love greens. Don't you don't even get me wrong. Like greens, they're incredible, but I just feel like, I feel like these shades right here were really nice and pigmented, but in terms of like, if you just didn't want to go in with these two, you wanted something a little bit more to add more depth your only option is really going to be this one and even then I was just kind of disappointed with that being the only option I really honestly think we could easily just like get rid of like this blue shimmer to me the blue shimmer just feels really out of place and something that like I'm not excited to see in there so I feel like we could have got rid of this and really made that like a really like nice deep like forest green like the color of this packaging could have been like that shade. Um, the shimmers overall, I mean, they were okay. I just felt like the shimmers were again, really like not super cohesive. Like you have like a blue, you have a green, you've got like this golden green, and then you've got like this like a topperish, a bluish green kind of a shade. Um, again, but it's very topperish. I just felt like they were just kind of wild and all over the place. I really would have liked to have seen this one go away and like made that like a, a deeper matte and then like we could have easily have kept these colors for like a more like neutral kind of an option and had this for a neutral had this for a green and i wish instead of this being like a bluish green that this was more of like a green like i don't know what kind of green like it could have been like an olive green it could have been a forest green it could have been like really anything else and i feel like that would have been a hundred times better than that or or make this like a solid gold or something to go with like the neutrals. Overall, I just feel like this palette wasn't like super co cohesive, but I did have like really good pigmentation with a lot of these shades. Whereas in the Tiger palette, I didn't get that pigmentation. I didn't get um, that pigmentation. And these shimmers are also um, pretty soft as well. Um, and I feel like, you know, they're a little bit hard pressed as well, but I don't feel like they're as bad as like the other ones. But so, yeah, I just don't think that those are ones I would recommend. Um, but let's go and let's talk about the two palettes that I definitely would recommend. Uh, number two palette is going to be the Wiles Chameleon. This was really, really good. The only issue I had was this matte um, that was really, really hard to work with. And then this, I was slightly disappointed because just really the red takes over and there's no purple hint to it. And I really wish that there was. Um, so that's just kind of where my disappointments lie. But the rest of that is like beautiful. These other matte shades really just like pigmented. 
pack a punch, buildable, work well together. I had no issues. I really um, liked the shimmers. All of these shimmers were nice and soft. This one included was super, super soft. Um, I really like how they added the purple because you do have some really nice peachy tones. And this color would look great with some peachy tones. Again, I wish this had more purple because I feel like this shade could really pair nicely with this because I feel like these two pair nicely. So I feel like if this really had like that purple tone to it, I feel like these two would be able to pair really, really nicely together. Um, but overall, those are like the only qualms that I have, but these are absolutely, this is beautiful. Um, I really did enjoy this. I would definitely recommend checking this out. I would definitely recommend it more if you could, if they have a Black Friday sale. I, I think she is having a Black Friday sale and you can get this on sale. Absolutely, 10 out of 10 would recommend if you can get this on sale. The other two, the sale would have to be like $9. I would pay $9 um, per quad for those, but I highly doubt you're gonna find them being on sale for $9, so I just wouldn't recommend those. But this one I would definitely recommend. And even if it's just like a slight sale, like 50% off, I would still like highly recommend it. But I would still highly recommend this one for full price as well. So that leaves number one, which is the Jaguar palette. This one kind of surprised me as well, but I really, really loved all of these mattes. The mattes were nice, pigmented, worked well together, especially like the shade right here. Like I really did like this for like if I was going for like an all matte look, I think this would be great to like put in like the center or outer portion of your lid to like make that matte look. I thought, think that like that's beautiful. Um, these shimmers, there were two of them. This one, this little purple down here in the corner is a little bit hard panned. Um, it does, you know, come out okay. It's just a little bit hard panned. This like special shade is beautiful. I mean like look at that, that is like stunningly beautiful it's like a gray with like a purple shift it's absolutely beautiful and then you have all of these other tones and I feel like they all just work so nicely together like they just work so beautifully together I think this palette is absolutely just like stunning um I if you're not really into like dark grungy colors obviously this isn't going to be a good option for you and you could definitely check this one out but for me, I do like some dark grungy colors and I loved like the pigmentation of the mattes. I loved how well they worked together. I loved the look that I created. So many other people loved that look. I posted that on Instagram and I had a lot of people be like, oh my gosh, I love this look. I need a tutorial. What did you use? And it was this palette. Like it's such a good palette. Like this is such a great palette. Um, I think that like, honestly, either of these two palettes I think you're going to be happy with if you're really into those grungy tones like I am this is going to be your best friend if you're not this will be your best friend I think that these two though weren't that great I don't think they were as well thought out as maybe these ones were but overall I am like super super happy with um how everything turned out I am happy that I have them in my collection um you could definitely you know mix and match these however you would like but overall I'm just really really impressed let me know what you guys think down below did I rank them in a way you thought I was going to or did you think I was going to rank them some other way let me know it down below let me know if you have picked any of these up which one's your favorite how you how would you have ranked these um, I'll leave all the videos down below so you can go back and look at them but let me know down below how you possibly would have ranked these do you guys think these are worth $29? Do you not? Let me know all of that down below. But that is it for today's video. I hope that if you guys did enjoy, please give this video a thumbs up. That lets me know that you like me talking about palettes, ranking palettes, things like that. That lets YouTube know that you are enjoying my content. As well as you, if you still have not yet hit that subscribe button, click the little bell. Go ahead and absolutely do so. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.